There is no other government that is matching the investments that we're putting into global health innovation. We have touched the lives of billions of people around the world. So it is incredibly important that there be resources available, not just to maintain the public health infrastructure of the United States, but also to respond to the next outbreak. The Trump administration's budget proposed a cut to the CDC, it's a cut for the National Institutes of Health, the elimination of the Fogarty International Center. For those of us who work as health advocates, we just didn't know where to turn first. This bill before us today focuses on key national priorities. Congressman Cole chairs the funding subcommittee that governs the health agencies. These institutions in particular are every bit as important for the national defense and national security of the American people as uh, the Pentagon is. Congressman Cole has taken a stand and has refused to let cuts happen in these really critical programs. He really believes in these investments. He knows that they'll protect Americans. He knows that they'll protect people around the world. When Tom Cole uh, speaks, uh, everybody listens. Frankly, I do not plan to let the $1 billion cut stand. I've heard him many times compare global health care as being equally as important as uh, fighting uh, the war against terror. And I think Tom influences a lot of votes. It's thanks to the leadership of Congressman Cole that we're now looking at a stable CDC budget and real potential for a robust increase at the National Institutes of Health. Instead of looking at the elimination of the Fogarty International Center, we're looking at the possibility of the modest increase in Fogarty. Thanks to Congressman Cole, there are millions of people around the world who will be protected from infectious diseases. There'll be millions of Americans who never face the threat of an outbreak. He obviously is a great advocate. He had a long vision of where he wanted us to be at the end of the day. And I can't think of anybody that's more deserving of this award.